Hello everybody, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the automatic layout features of Grid Guide for After Effects. Good layout requires skills and creativity, but good layout also follows rules, like the rule to use common measurements. In this example, the second text is exactly three times the size of the first text, and the distance between the two texts is exactly the size of the first text. As a result, the design feels harmoniously and balanced. The easiest way to ensure you are using common measurements in your design is the use of a grid. However, if you are not used to working with a grid, picking the right grid can be challenging. Therefore, Grid Guide offers a unique alternative workflow. You start by placing the elements in the composition as usual. Just place them roughly where they should be and give them roughly the size they should have to give Grid Guide an idea how your design should look like. Then select all layers that are part of the layout and click the Auto Grid and Snap button. Now Grid Guide calculates the grid that fits best to your content and then adjusts both the size and the location of all layers to fit. Furthermore, Grid Guide also performs a vertical alignment. In this example, all texts were roughly placed centered. Grid Guide detected this and centered the text accordingly. In this example, I placed all texts roughly left aligned. Notice that the alignment is not accurate. But Grid Guide notices this and takes care of the details to align the layers accurately. Here, some texts are aligned left and some right, all around a central line in the middle. A simple click on Auto Grid and Snap, and again, all layers are aligned accurately. If you are not satisfied with the initial result produced by the Auto Grid and Snap function, you can refine it using these two buttons, which make the underlying grid coarser or finer. By clicking the button several times, you can switch quickly between different variants of the layout. If we make the grid even finer, you can see that Grid Guide adds an additional vertical alignment line and aligns some layers on the first and some layers on the second line. In general, the finer the grid is, the harder Grid Guide will try to keep layers close to their original position and size. And sometimes, like in this case, it will add additional lines to achieve this goal. In the timeline, the generated grid is just a normal shape layer. Notice that it is a guide layer, which means that it will not be included in your final rendered video. Of course, you can also turn its visibility off, and if you twirl down the effects property under Grid Parameters Appearance, you can also adjust the color, opacity, and stroke width of the grid lines. In the settings of Grid Guide, you can also set a default color, opacity, and stroke width that will be used for all newly created grids. The automatic layout does not only work with text, but also works with other layers, like this logo image here. Let's see what Grid Guide can do for this pretty complex layout. Most layers are aligned nicely, but obviously the placement of the word non-trivial is not right. As you can see from this line here, Grid Guide decided to center it with the word Grid Guide, which is most likely not what you had in mind. Also, the word easily is left aligned on the same line. To fix this, we can use our alignment icons. We select easily and click this icon so that it snaps to the next line on the right. By clicking the button several times, we can quickly jump from one grid line to the next one until the layer is placed where we want it to be. For non-trivial, I actually want the letter I to be aligned with this line. Since Grid Guide only snaps to layer outlines and not to individual letters, we move it in place manually. In case we accidentally moved it a bit up or down, we can easily snap it to the grid vertically again using this button, which moves the layer either up or down to the closest grid line. Note that the automatic layout only considers the outlines of each layer. Therefore, if you have a text that consists of multiple lines, it is better to have each line of the text in a separate layer so that Grid Guide can adjust the size and spacing of the lines correctly. Let's summarize how the Auto Layout feature of Grid Guide is working. Just select all layers that should be layouted and click the Auto Grid and Snap button. Most of the time this is all you need to do, but you can also refine the result by making the grid finer or coarser. If something was not aligned the way you wanted, you can fix this using the Alignment Toolbar. Again, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and I wish you the best in your use of Grid Guide.